Hey, welcome back my friends to Nerd Chic and AskTheNerd.net. So glad you could join us today. I'm setting up my IdeaPad Flex 5 Chromebook 13 inch. So I really like this thing. This has got to be my, one of my favorite machines I've gotten. I needed a new Chromebook. You guys know I've done a lot of Chromebook um, creative videos and tutorials and stuff, but I have not been able to um, do it with the newest quality software as well as well as hardware. So I got this just so that I could do more tutorials and help you guys, especially students and teachers and whatever with Zoom or whatnot. So this is a Core i3 10th generation, hardcore um, machine, brand new, one of the newest ones out there. It's got the backlit um, let numbers and uh, keyboard, keypad and everything, and it's an IdeaPad Flex. I'll show you what that means in a minute. But for right now, let's jump into the setup so you guys can see what this is like. I've got it set up with English United States and accessibility. Let's go. And now I'm hooking up to my um, internet, and it's going to ask me to do my stuff. I'm going to pause right here while I do it. So you've got to put in your password now when this pops up. And you guys can see I have a really long password. And there it is. Okay, it says connection not private. That's funny because it's theirs. It says whatever, but there it comes. I'm going to accept and continue. You may get weird stuff like that. It happens. Accept and continue. Now it's checking for updates. It's going to run those updates, download whatever's needed. And now I can sign into my Chromebook. I'm going to press pause again and sign into my Chromebook. Now I've signed into my Chromebook. It's asking you for a two-step verification. I'm going to pause that real quick. Let me say this, the two-step verica verification, when it pops up at this point, you're going to go into your Google Chrome um, or your Google log in on your mobile device if you've got authentication set up and it's going to give you a thing it's going to ask if you're trying to sign in you click yes and now i've done it on my mobile device it comes back over to here i encourage everybody to have dual authentication set up you know it's super important to make sure you're secure especially when folks nowadays can find your email and find out who you are and all that kind of stuff now i'm signed in so i've done my dual auth i've gotten my code i'm signed in and then you can do Chrome Sync or personalized Chrome services. So you can Chrome Sync your bookmarks, history, passwords, and other settings. Sync to your Google account so you can use them on all your devices. And then it says Google may use your browsing history to personalize search ads, whatever. Now, if you want to do that, you can. I'm going to review sync options before setup. I'm going to do this. And I want this, yes. I can back up to Google Drive, easily restore your data, switch device anytime you're back up, whatever. I'm going to do that. It says back up to Google Drive. You can turn off location if you want to, um, but I think I'm good with that. You can review to look at your Google Play options. It says use location. It says allow apps and services with location permission to use your device's location. Google may collect location data periodically and use the data in an honest way to improve location accuracy and location-based services. I personally, if you've got a minor using it, I would turn this off versus have it on. It just is what it is, and then you can enable as you want to. I would maybe turn this off as well. So it's up to you, but I'm going to accept the rest and leave it like that. And then it says, I can install apps from my other devices. And so I will do that, um, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll click retry real quick. Nope, I'm going to press skip. And it says, Get Chromebook tips, offers, and updates, and share feedback. That's your email. If you want to be on an email list, do it. I don't. And then it says just get started. And so now everything's doing what it needs to do. Now I can I, I can review all of my services. So encrypt, encrypt sync passwords with your Google username and password. No, I don't want to have passwords, um, you know, done. So it says that you can do your own sync phrase and whatever. I actually don't want the syncing, so I'll turn that off in just a minute. You can look down at the other services. Autocomplete searches and URLs, no. So it shows suggestions for similar pages when a page can't be found, no. Help improve Chrome, I'm not doing that. Um, no, I'm not gonna send the URLs. This is all because I want to keep myself protected from any extra information going to all this. Now I'm gonna go over here and manage sync 
because it says sync everything. I don't want to sync everything. There's some stuff I don't want to be synced. Like I don't want to sync, turn this off. I don't want to sync passwords. I don't want to sync addresses and payment information and phone numbers. I don't even want to sync payment methods, right? If you want to do it, if this is a school um, device, you definitely don't want to do that. If it's with kids, you may not want to do it. I don't mind if this stuff is synced, that's fine. I'm gonna minim minimize this, and then it says, I can remove the, the Play Store if I want to. I'm not going to, I want it to be here. And so pretty much, this is the safe features. Now something else is cool here, look at this, Linux. Look, you can run Linux tools, editors, and IDEs on your Chromebook. So this is, I'm doing this during the setup just to show you what's here. But personally, I would do this if you're a developer. It's really cool. Look at all this. It's really incredible. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. You can go through each different thing you want to in the settings and make sure things are the way you want it. But at this point, this is really how easy it is to set this up. Personally, I keep it as safe as possible. I don't share my passwords across or whatever. I use a password manager. My preference is LastPass. And <clears throat> I keep as much stuff private and location data private as possible, especially if this is for a student or young person. All right, so that's pretty much it for setting up my um, Chromebook. And um, you guys, I'll show you one more thing. I love this thing, look at this guy. It flips and bends. It's so cool and it flips the view when you do it. So you've got this view right here as a tablet, turns into more of a tablet feel. That's why I love this thing. So this is the setup for the IdeaFlex 5 Chromebook 13 inch. And um, thanks for tuning in to NerdSheet. Don't forget to subscribe and check out AskTheNerd.net. You guys take care.